I am introducing the device as it is introduced with the light through the esophagus it is slided with the lubricant and goes through the esophagus. The equipment is very thin. As you can see, the apparatus is extremely thin, flexible in all directions. We have handled it, we have observed it, and it is extremely powerful in making retro flexion, handlings of 300 watts. The 300 watts Xeon is a totally cold light, which does not burn. We inflate the stomach and inflate it to be able to visualize. With this very sophisticated equipment, we can diagnose in a precise manner. The procedure of coagulation with argon plasma is composed of multiple technical steps in the modern gastroenterology. We are successfully using it in other countries, in the palliative treatments for gastric, colon, and esophagus cancer and in active bleedings and to treat colitis, resulting from post-radiation. All this has a wide range in modern therapy of argon laser. Through these equipments, we can make multiple internal therapies, such as cutting the polyp and using it as a coagulator in an active bleeding. With these instruments, we can save patients' lives in a few seconds Currently, we have multiple resources to save the patient's life. Suffering from acute bleeding is a real emergency that could risk the patient's life if we do not act in an aggressive manner. If we do not act efficiently, the patient can die in a matter of minutes. For the digestive tract hemorrhage, we need multiple resources, such as an argon plasma coagulator, such as rubber bands, the surgical cautery, conducted by these double-channel therapeutic endoscopes, but we can introduce a double forcep in the double-channel therapeutic equipment. The therapeutic equipment with dual channel, the therapeutic video endoscopes with dual channel, with which we can introduce two forceps, lubricate the second forcep, and we pass it through the second biopsy channel. We pass it with these tools. We can operate inside the gastro camera. We can make a surgery with the gastric camera and then go to the esophagus and extract real blocks. We observe the forceps. It is a double channel therapeutic endoscope. It holds the tissue completely. And in some cases, we can use it in multiple therapeutic ways, such as a laser beam. With one forcep, you hold it, and with the other one, you burn it. The violet light is typical of this kind of argon beam. It goes together with plasma coagulator and in the flexible equipment is totally helpful for gastroenterologists. The use of argon plasma coagulator is of great help in the therapeutic modern treatment through the endoscopy. The digestive endoscopy has had great advances in the last years. Besides the video endoscopes, we have multiple resources through which we can do multiple treatments which benefit our patients here in our area. It is really very impressive and interesting. I had never seen the stomach and colon from the inside with this high definition of details and brightness. Dr. Murasaka, how accurate are the diagnoses in endoscopy this century? Since Dr. Uji invented the first gastric camera, of our era, we are grateful to them all for the advanced technology and great precision with more than a half century in technology which helps us doctors in this modern era of the 21st century to diagnose and treat precisely. Thanks to the Japanese engineers for providing us these tools 
which are so useful, like that of the video endoscopes with high resolution, and now with zoom, right? Thanks to them, we can diagnose extremely clearly and extremely precisely, and all these are recorded on video, and we can give the patient a video, right? Where we show the complete study and digital photos, and we can observe these digital photos. These are studies of the colon. And these are studies of the upper digestive tract. We see this in high definition. These are all the reports that we give to our patients, Caroline. We provide these digital photos just like the videotape, which we give to the patient to be kept and stored in their archives and see them later if needed. Before the pictures were black and white, today they are full color. We see the folds in high definition. We can see the report of the large intestine from the complete colonoscopy. Complete photos in high definition. And sometimes we can see it with zoom, microscopic lesions of one millimeter, and we can enlarge it many times. All this thanks to the modern technology, and doctors can now diagnose exactly. Dr. Murasaka, is the percentage of people suffering from stomach and colon cancer high in El Salvador? That's right, Caroline. Look, gastric cancer in our region has always been very high. It's a serious health problem. It causes deaths and accelerated mortality. Unfortunately, diagnosis in our country is done when it's too late. The patient visits the gastroenterologist when he has already lost 20 pounds. It's over with. Diagnosis should be done in its early stage, as in Japan. I would like Dr. Osono to talk about the early stage cancer in Japan. We would like to see how you work in relation to how it is discovered and mainly regarding what Dr. Murasaka was explaining to prevent gastrointestinal cancer in Japan. How's the procedure? Well, uh, when Dr. Uji invented the gastro camera, the percentage was very high. The incidence rate was higher than in other countries. However, we have launched an enormous campaign in order to inform people to diagnose and prevent. Then through this campaign, uh, factories and companies carried out periodical tests to the executives and employees, and like this, they can discover it in each early stage, and they hear then with all this campaign and also were well, together with the endoscope advances, yes, modern. I consider that here in our country, we must implement and be more aggressive doctors, implement more exams and more detection. If the patient has or not the symptoms, we must check them. Some patients say, look, I have gastritis, like many believe. They say, I have gastritis and have never done an exam. This is one of the biggest errors we see because the patient returns saying, Doctor, I have gastritis, but has lost 20 pounds. Immediately, someone with these symptoms that has lost 20 pounds, that feels full and vomits, one thinks that this is stomach cancer. We see it a lot with just these symptoms, but it's not about losing 20 pounds. It's about detecting it early, before the symptoms or similar symptoms to other illnesses like gastritis. Gastritis must be cured completely within a month. Gastritis must be cured completely within a month of treatment. It's completely curable. But if the patient still has symptoms, we need to suspect that there is something internal. In our country, the people go to the doctor when there is eight, 10, 12 months have passed, and it's already too late. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us. As you have seen in this program, the evolution of the endoscopy took place from the gastro camera up to this date. More than half a century later, the technology keeps advancing and will help doctors to keep saving lives with future innovations. Good night.